Tell me maybe three or four of your favorite features. <laughs> so the, this is a PT6 uh, turboprop motor. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very, very reliable, very durable, very high performance aircraft engine. Uh, low cost of ownership, so people around the world love these things. You run them every day. Um, very reliable, very easy to maintain and service, and just a real workhorse of, a, of an engine. These rail mount systems give you a lot of flexibility in terms of what kind of weapons you want to put on there. Uh, in this configuration, we happen to have an APKBWS. Um, which is a rocket, mm -hmm. so a guided rocket to put on there. This is a, uh, a GBU-12 bomb, so this is a guided uh, gravity drop bomb, and then on the inboard uh, most station is a 50 cal machine gun. So you can do everything from sort of machine guns, rockets, bombs, uh, it's gonna hold a whole host of different both precision and non-precision uh, weapon systems, all of which are controlled um, by a central mission system in part of the uh, control of the cockpit. So these aircraft are, are really specially purpose designed to, to sort of fight that air to ground battle. Um, so in particular, a lot of what you would refer to these days as sort of low intensity, you know, conflict. Uh, so the troops typically are on the ground and you have what they call a JTAC controller who would actually call in strikes. So they say, okay, you know, we're here, the bad guy is over there. And they sort of hand that information over to the aircraft, kind of confirm that target. And then the aircraft has the ability to come in and, and execute whatever the appropriate weapon system is onto that target. These are very, very, very good, very durable aircraft. They can take a beating and just keep on going. So this aircraft actually is capable of taking off what they call unimproved strips. So if you've got grass, dirt, you know, you don't have to have a paved field. Again, the landing gear in the system is very rugged, very durable. Um, with the engine out in the front end of it, you know, all the stuff's going in the back, so you tend not to fod or damage um, the engine. So it's very versatile in that respect.